I've had this look requested a lot by not only you guys, but like my friends that see this hairstyle on me and junk. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this beehive inspired, no heat required, updo. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. You're going to need a scarf for this and it's going to need to be long and rectangular. And scarves that won't work for the style are these big pashminas. They're kind of heavy and they're cotton and they dry out your hair and they're really big and it just won't work. So try something light. So I hope you like the style and here's a quick tutorial. Enjoy! I said enjoy. Okay, first you're going to start off with a part on your head. I have a left part. Left hand. Left. Next, you're going to separate out your bangs and begin parting your hair like halfway down and this is where your bump is going to be. Oh dear, my fingers have become caught in my hair. Again, how freaking typical. Now you're going to begin forming your bump up here. If you have like flat, kind of normalish hair, you're going to have to tease your hair. I don't have a teasing comb because I don't tease my hair but it's like a really fine comb and you just back comb it and get your hair real big, so do that. Or your next alternative to teasing is a bump it, like Sarah Palin. But if you have freaking morbidly obese hair like me, then you don't really need to do that. All right, so just begin combing your hair back. Here are the bangs, bring those out. And start just shaping it. Now just smooth it out with a smoothie brush. Now that you've got it mostly shaped, you're just going to pinch it, your hair, and slightly pucker it up. And now you're just going to take bobby pins, like this. Now that you've got your bump done, pin your bangs back. Let's take a brush, bobby pin, and pin. Next up, dealing with your little rat tail thing. Turn to the side so you can see this. Put it in a low ponytail and don't put it too tight. Now sometimes my ends get a little bit dry, so I'm just going to take some Moroccan oil, put it in the cap, dab it on my finger, see it looks like that, and just put it on my ends. Next you're going to take either a roller or a small bottle or whatever you want to use to roll your hair, and you're going to roll it under. And for your final step, you're going to need a scarf. Take a long rectangular scarf, like so, and you're just going to fold it up until you want it to be the width that you desire. Place it on. Now, it might not cover the back all the way, so here's where you have to do some adjusting. And you're going to take it to the side and tie it. And now for your final step, you're going to make a pretty bow. Yay! Now, you're not going to want to leave your bow loops like this. You're going to want to fatten them up. And here you have it. It's your finished look. This is a 
great look for pretty much any occasion. I wear this to go shopping, I wear this to go to theme parks, I wear it for school, and it's a great way to like hide your hair like you don't feel like friggin doing it in the morning and um, looking really like high-end and I don't know fierce <laughs> you can do different variations of this too you can leave the the part that we put in the ponytail down you can put that in a low side ponytail and curl it you can do a bunch of different variations with this but here's my updo off the shoulder, no problemo, stay in place all day hairstyle. Hope you guys like it. Amira out. Cheers. Yeah.